hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding sprinting to our player okay so for that if you click on pbr military pack go inside the animations and then click on the player animator controller to open it up and as you know that we have created this uh, blend tree player movement and in here we have this blend tree in which we have the idle walk and run animation okay so what we will do that whenever the position y of the run becomes 2 we are gonna make the player run or you can say sprint and when it is 1 then the player will walk and if it is 0 then it will be idle okay so 0 1 2 okay you can also leave it as 0 0 0.5 and 1 but I will just leave this like this okay so now if we play the animation and make the value 1 as you can see the player will be walking and if we make it 2 the player will run okay as you can see it is looking good now what we gonna do we will now open up the game folder in here then scripts then player controls and in here double click on this uh, player controls right here the input actions and what we will do now we will create a new action map and let's name this as player actions okay and now inside this player actions we will be setting all of the buttons for sprinting and jumping for firing and for opening the scope and for the reload okay so that's why we need a separate action map for this now what we're gonna do I will delete that add another action and let's name this as B okay the action type will be button and then if we go inside the binding so we will click on this path then and right here uh, if you want uh, to set up a button for your controller then you can also set a button for controller as you know that for uh, the controller the button east is used for sprinting so you can search for button east and also we will add another binding okay and in here in the path we will select the or you can see we will search for the shift keyboard button okay because in games when we hold down the shift button the player sprints okay so now we have the sprint button set and as you can see its name is b and this time the action map name is player actions and then the action is b okay now if we click on cross click on save okay now let's go ahead and set up this button so in the input manager script what we will do we will create a public bool by the name of b input okay because that is what we name our button there in the action map okay b you can name this whatever you want and after naming it now in here what we will do as you know that first of all we will say player controls then dot this time we will not say player movement because the action map name is player action so we will say player action actually actions let me check it out okay player actions then dot b dot performed plus equals to i and then equals to greater than b input and we will set this to true then you can copy this whole line paste it down below and right here instead of the perform now we will say cancelled c e l e t okay cancelled then plus equals to i equals to greater than b underscore input and right here just simply say false that is it 
after this uh, after this handle movement input now we will create another method by the name of handle sprinting input okay and now in here we will say if the b input is pressed and the movement amount is greater than 0.5 okay it means that if the player is walking okay because of course if the player is not moving and in the either animation and the player presses the shift button then uh, the player will just simply start sprinting and we don't want that okay we want the sprinting only when the player is moving okay so now what we will do right here we will say that uh, player movement actually let me check if we have a reference to our player movement script okay we don't have so we need a reference to a player movement but first of all let's open up the player movement uh, script and in here what we gonna do is right here let's first of all add a header and let's name this as movement speeds or uh, movement values if you want okay and then after this at the top we will create another header okay and let's name this header as movement flags okay and in the movement flags we will be having a uh, bool values uh, and as you know that uh, flags are just to define whether if some certain action is true or not like if a sprinting is true or not okay we will be just defining that variables right here so we will say if uh, is sprinting actually not if okay so this will be our first flag for a sprinting and also we need another flag for is moving as well okay and then in the movement values let's create a float by the name of sprinting speed and by default this will be equals to seven that is it okay so this is all we need to do on the player movement script now get back to the input manager let's add a reference to the player movement script so we will say player movement player movement then right here we will say player movement equals to get component player movement is the component and that is it and right here remove the NT because it is just I right now let's go ahead and complete our method now so now we can say player movement and from the player movement script we need the flag or you can say the bool is printing and we're gonna set that to true okay what this means this means that if the player is moving and we press the sprint button then we're gonna set a sprinting to true okay we're gonna like say that yes the player is sprinting in the else block we will just simply say that no a sprinting should be false that is all we're gonna do right here in this method now just copy this whole name and handle all inputs method paste it add semicolon and then if you save the script get back right here click on the player you will notice we have now this p input so now if we start the game okay for now our animation will be a little bit messed up but don't worry we're gonna fix that okay okay so now as you can see the player is walking now 
okay the walking uh, movement speed is a little bit higher for this so let me click on player movement make the movement speed as one okay one is not enough i think two will be good okay so now as you can see the player is only now moving okay and not running now if you hold down the shift button the player will of course not run because for now we didn't set the animation okay but as you can see the b input set to true and the a sprinting is set to true as well when we are holding down the shift button as you can see you can also test this out on your uh, joystick as well or you can say your controller but for the keyboard as you can see it is working whenever i press the button okay so it gave me this warning okay let me now stop the game and let's play the appropriate animations for that you will have to open your uh, animator manager and right here as you can see we have this snap horizontal and snapped vertical uh, regions in which we have all of this code okay so what we gonna do is right after this region right here okay we will say that if the player is sprinting then we gonna sprint okay but first of all in this change animator values method now we need to add another parameter and that parameter will be of type pool by the name is sprinting okay this is not a sprinting which is on the player movement okay this is a separate parameter okay for this method so we are gonna say if uh, this is sprinting okay so if this is sprinting is true then what we're gonna do we will first of all make the snapped horizontal movement set it equals to the horizontal movement and the snapped vertical movement will be equals to 2 okay because in our uh, blend tree we set the running position y to 2 so that's why i type 2 right here okay if you are using the same values and as mine then you can type 2 but if you are using other values then make sure that you type that values right here okay so now we need to pass a true or false to this is printing now as well okay so we will be doing that from our player movement so on the player movement actually not on the player movement on the input manager right here okay we have this change animator values method right here so as you know for the horizontal movement we pass zero for the vertical we pass movement amount and now for the is sprinting what we're gonna do we will pass the player movement dot is sprinting okay so you can just copy and paste that right here so whatever the is sprinting on the player movement is it will be passed uh, to this method right here and then when uh, we are holding down, holding uh, down the shift button it will simply sprint okay and now the last thing which we're gonna do on the player movement inside this handle movement method is that we're gonna now remove this because now our movement speed uh, should be changed okay for now the uh, as you can see whenever we hold down the w key or you can say when we whenever we move the player the movement speed of the player is this movement speed which is by default set to 2 okay now when the player is sprinting we want the sprinting speed to be applied okay so now we're gonna do that as well so I will just simply cut this from here and we will say first of all if the player is sprinting okay then we want to apply the sprinting speed so I will paste that and instead of the movement speed now I will say sprinting speed okay and then in the else block I will say if input manager dot movement amount is greater than equals to 0 
okay it means that if the player is moving then what we're gonna do we will set the uh, movement speed which is 2 okay and also we're gonna set the is moving flag to true okay and then we can just simply copy this if condition paste it down below change this to actually let me give one space and right here change this to zero so if the player is now not moving then we will just simply remove that line and say that set the is moving flag to false simple as that okay and now one more thing is this movement amount on the input manager where it is uh, movement amount right here make this public because we are now uh, accessing this on this script okay so make sure that it is public then just save the script get back right here make the movement speed as 2 sprinting speed will be 7 that is all now if we play the game okay now as you can see the player is moving and now if you hold down the shift button as you can see now the player is running and if we uh, don't hold down the shift button as you can see the player is walking again and if the player is stopped as you can see the player can't sprint okay as you can see the b input set to true because of course we are pressing the shift button but as you can see the sprinting is false but then if we try to move and hold the shift button as you can see the player sprints okay as you can see you can also change your sprinting speed uh, to a lower value or a higher value according to your own character animation but for now as you can see it is looking fine okay so now let's end this video right here and i will catch you guys in the next one